So don't make this mistake ordering a truck. Welcome back to JB Reviews. I have a Lariat and an XLT on this side. Now this truck should be available for sale. I believe this one's already sold though. They're both long beds. I wanna show you around these trucks to show you the differences between the XLT and then the step up, which is the Lariat. And then you guys are gonna look at the pricing on both of these trucks, which is gonna surprise you. I think that I'm actually a little shocked. Now I will say this has the power stroke, which is a few thousand dollars less than this one on this side, which has the high output power stroke. So let's go ahead and check out the XLT first on the front end, and then I'll move over to the Lariat. Now, obviously, if you get an XLT, you're gonna get halogen headlights. So just keep that in mind. Luckily for this truck, it has a sport appearance package, which paints the bumpers down below, and it does offer these LED headlights. Love the front grille. Believe it or not, this does have 360 cameras. So you can kind of see the camera right up front here. And like I said, reflective style, full LED headlights, turn signals, fog lights down below are LED, tow hooks. And it does have a really nice style to it. Now, if we go over to the Lariat, this truck pretty much has the exact same styling up front. The only thing that you add on this truck is the parking sensors down below which is new for 2023 and i actually had to pull these trucks out of a parking space i do love having front parking sensors i'm glad that ford added them for this model year and they do come in handy but apart from that these trucks are pretty much identical now on the xlt side you do get a black wheel with a sport appearance really nice design it is wrapped in a bridgestone dueler tire tire size is lt275 7018 and then here's some of the capacities right here. 3,640 pounds at 80 PSI. And of course, solid front axle. And here's the badge off to the side too. On this side of the house, this has the 20 inch wheels wrapped in pretty much the same tire, just a different size, which is right here. LT 275 6520. And then here's the capacities, a little bit more, 3,750 pounds at 80 PSI. Again, solid front axle. And then here is the trim piece on the side. The only difference is Lariat, XLT. Now the mirrors is where you can kind of notice that there's a lower trim level here. Because on the Lariat side of the house, they do paint that top trim piece. Love that they do that as a nice accent. They both have the lights on the front of the mirrors too. And because they have 360 cameras, they're gonna have those cameras down below. Both have blind spot monitoring. And believe it or not, they both have smart key system for the front doors too. Now, most people know this by now, 6.7 power stroke. If it's a standard output, it's gonna be black. And then on this side, they do add a red flare to the 6.7 liter there. Painted door handles too. And then we move off to the side, you do have the steps. And check out the exhaust tips out back too. Because these are both one tons, you're gonna have the overload leaf springs at four leaves in that main pack. And FX4 package on both trucks. And then here is the leaf setup. Again, one ton truck. If you get the long bed, you are gonna get a 48 gallon fuel tank, 7.4 gallon DEF tank for both trucks. And then check out the tail lights. There's a combination of LED and incandescent bulbs, and that's gonna be on both sides too. Painted rear bumpers are part of the package. They both have a class five receiving hitch. But you can see here, parking sensors do come available on the XLT out back. And then pretty much the same thing for the exhaust tips finished in chrome. On the Lariat side of the house, they do provide this LED light that shines below for your conventional hitch if you're towing. Backer camera's right there. And this does have an assisted tailgate too. You can kind of hear the shock inside of there too when it goes down. There is bed lights. And this one was optioned with the spray and bed liner, which sometimes does hold up your build. Notice how there is a camera above too, with LED lights there. 
Now let's go over to this side. This one is also gonna have the same LED light that shines below. I didn't mention, but seven and four pin are there. And I believe they both have the same. Sometimes they'll have a camera input available, but that's not the case here. Assisted tailgate too. Now it's funny, this one has the fifth row prep package, which is also hard to get from the factory. And then of course you have your seven, and this is going to be your camera input, 12 pin. Again, LED lights, and there is a camera above. And notice that they both have the sliding rear glass too. 2.0 kilowatts for that power plug there. And wow, this Lariat does not have that, so that is an option. So just keep that in mind, I actually overlooked that. Now, here's where you're gonna see the biggest difference. Somebody's doing a burnout, I guess. Hopefully it's not picking up in the camera, but you can kind of see here, you have like a vinyl material with some stitching, nice little trim piece, and it's wrapped around some chrome. There is tow mode for the mirrors. They do also power fold. Let me go grab the key so you can see it, hold on. The truck seems like it has to be in accessory mode for this to happen. So yeah, they power fold on both sides. And b &O sound system too, which is a surprise too. But like I said, the door car definitely does have, you know, a little bit more like that dress down look. You have like that gray down below here. Power seat for it to go forward and backwards, up and down for the front and rear. However, the back support is manually operated. I'm not sure if you noticed too, but the seats are a cloth material. They do have a nice appearance to them. And surprisingly, this XLT does have a center console. So on this side of the house with the Lariat, again, you have a more dressed up interior. The door card has a really nice appearance to it. And then check this out. Seat memories. And again, you have the same controls for the mirrors. b &O sound system. But look at the side of the seat here. This is where the differences really do come to play. So you have this accent chrome trim piece right there, lumbar support, and you have full power seats. Also, power steering column, one second. The XLT does have a manually operated steering column, but it's telescoping. No power pedals, however, for this truck either. Layer it does have those power pedals there. And the leather seats look really good. I do find these seats more comfortable versus the cloth seats, especially after jumping in both trucks. Now this center console is an option on both sides of the house, so just keep that in mind. And I have done some videos with the Larry's with that uh, bench up front. 10-way seat on the passenger side. And these seats are gonna be heated and ventilated. Let's go ahead and start up the XLT and I'll show you guys some of the controls on that side. Push button start on an XLT and you have a digital gauge cluster. I believe that's a 12.3 inch screen, 12 inch display right there. This one does have the optional auxiliary switches too. Heated seats are part of this package too. Now, you don't have dual climate control on this truck. This one was optioned with the rear locker, by the way. But yeah, this one does have that cluster, as I mentioned, and 12 inch display. And as I mentioned on the outside, you do have, you know, 360 camera view. You know, that's the cool thing about this truck is there's definitely a lot of nice features on this. Now, two USBs down below, there is no charger. There is no cover right here. This does still slide for more cup holders, or you could just use it for storage. And as I mentioned earlier, center console. Even note up here, this is all hard plastic. Storage on this side, and then down below. All right, and let's go ahead and check out the Lariat. Now notice how the dash is just a little bit nicer around where the push button starters, like this trim piece here. It's a little bit nicer than what you just saw. And I was gonna note, the roof 
is actually the exact same for both trucks. Now this one does not have the auxiliary switches. I don't really have a use for auxiliary switches, but I just think you should option your truck with them if you're gonna obviously build it from the factory. I do like the power steering column too. That's something I definitely would like to have. But yeah, dual climate control, ventilated seats as I mentioned earlier. This one does have the locker too. Yeah, and these trucks have these screens. They're pretty much the same as the XLT. Now I do know you can get heads up display with the Lariat. But again, I think the overall fit and finish, like you have soft touch for the dash, has a nicer appearance too. Like even like this cover here, this has a nicer appearance. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed, but this little tray here, it does fit right there. I had mentioned earlier that there was no charger in here on the XLT, and I was talking about the wireless charger that you see here. So not only do you get the wireless charger, you get this cover, which is kind of makes it look a little nicer too. I almost would like for them to do something here too, versus having it open like that. You can hear the seats too, by the way, with the ventilated seats on. Now these controls were pretty much the exact same on both sides of the house. Now, did the XLT have seat memories? I can't remember now, we gotta go check. It did not, I didn't think it did. But yeah, look at the dash again on this truck. I mean, you can see again around where that push button start is. It's just a different truck. And that's why I do like the little bit higher trim levels because they just give you a nicer design overall. But out back, the trucks are gonna be pretty identical with the exception of maybe like a couple of things. But here's a door card. This storage is collapsible, flat floor surface. They provide these power plugs. This is your 12 volt and 120. Is that 120 or 110? Yeah, 120 volt. Two USBs right there. Air vents, cup holders up top. And let's just put the seat down. 6040 bench. There is no center armrest. However, they both have LED lights. And the grab handles right there. Oh yeah, check this out. The vanity is not illuminated on the XLT. However, they are on the Lariat. Out back, leather seats, 6040 bench with the collapsible storage. Again, the really nice design for the door card. And the only thing that you add back here is the heated seats. So let's go ahead and check out the window stickers and that'll pretty much end this video. So don't make this mistake ordering a truck the biggest mistake i see guys do is they'll add a ton of options on a lower trim level because they gotta have this they gotta have that and then all of a sudden the truck is almost the same price as a slightly higher trim level now this truck does have quite a bit of options but be sure to pause it up here and then here we go. So these are pretty much identical builds, just different trim levels, and of course the options are different. So Sport Appearance Package was $3,000, XLT Premium Package was $4,100, and FX4 was $495. Towing Technologies right there, and then here's a few other things that this truck has. And then on this side, Destinations right there, with a total price of $82,295. Be sure to pause it for the standard equipment and the specs up here. But note some of the options. So this does have the standard output power stroke, which is basically $2,500 difference in price. Sport appearance is right there, FX4. And then this one does have the console up front that you saw. And yeah, that's the only issue I have here is this truck has $16,365 worth of options compared to the XLT over there that had 25,000. So in my opinion, unless you don't want leather seats, that's the only exception to this rule. Unless you don't want these leather seats, just get a higher trim level as opposed to building an XLT to be in Lariat truck. I don't understand why people do that. And I see it all the time. So 1895 destination, 83,250. Now, if you wanted the high output power stroke, this is what it would cost you. 85,750, and you have considerably more 
features and a nicer appearance on the inside of the interior versus the XLT. Now really quickly, 475 horsepower, 1,050 pound-feet of torque, and the high output is going to have 500 horsepower, 1,200 pound-feet of torque. So I hope this video was helpful. Obviously you guys know I got to show you the payload. I always do that. So let me just do it now before I forget. And I'll show you guys obviously the other numbers. So both trucks I believe have the 12.4 gross fuel weight rating and then here are the axles right there. 5,600 up front, 7,230 in the rear. 4,289 payload, which is pretty dang big for a Lariat truck with all these options on it. For the XLT, as I said, 12.4 GVWR, 5,600 pound gross axle, 7,230 in the rear. 4,200 pounds. So again, even with the payload capacity, I just think that you're doing yourself an injustice. Just go with the higher trim level if you're gonna mac out a lower trim, in my opinion. But I hope this video was helpful. Special shout out again to Larry H. Miller, Super Ford here in Salt Lake City. They did allow me to do this video and I just talked to Brian. This truck is just sold now. Diego sold this one over here. So if you're in the market, be sure to ask for one of those guys. See you guys soon.